Today we are extracting from eastern copperheads. These guys are Echistrodon contortrix. Some people watching may remember the designation of northern, southern, broadbanded, etc. Uh, but recently uh, they've just been moved into only eastern and western copperheads. So that's the designation that we're using. This snake here is a little bit interesting. Uh, this one, I left this video in. Uh, first of all, the snake is just really pretty, even though it's a little awkward there. Uh, but also, this snake actually does not give any venom during the extraction. So it kind of proves that we're not forcing the venom out because the snake decided it didn't want to give any. It wasn't upset, so nothing happened. And that's fine. It happens sometimes. Copperhead venom is being used in uh, research on breast cancer. And there's also uh, quite a bit of work done on uh, blood clotting. It does activate a couple of clotting factors. And it's also been used kind of long-term uh, historically to, to study how blood clots. Uh, Eastern copperheads are found throughout much of the southeastern United States. And we did title this Big Copperheads because these ones in the video are fairly large. Uh, maximum size for these guys is a little bit over four feet. So some of these are just the uh, older snakes that we have here at the zoo. Some of them are uh, 15 to 20 years old that you're seeing in this video. So the last snake you're gonna see, I believe uh, is the largest one we have. Uh, this one is over 42 inches, though we're not exactly sure how long he is, um, but he's definitely up there in size. And you can kind of see his uh, venom gland contractions there a little bit. And then here we have the venom that we uh, were able to gather this day. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.